Hello. Hello again. It's Maggie here, the Cheshire Crafter. I just thought I'd show you some of the things that I'm doing at my art class. It's very evident this morning, chatting to people in the art class. It's a WEA art class held in the northwest of England. I've got a Welsh teacher who's been teaching art for very many years and he's currently teaching us an abstract art class. Uh, I first of all showed you in my introduction my first attempt at uh, acrylic on canvas and I'm going to show you my second attempt. I'm just going to turn the camera. What was really funny on my introduction is you got to see <laughs> you got to see how untidy my room is but uh, I've got uh, a one bedroom flat and I think every every surface is covered with craft stuff but it seems when I'm chatting to people in my art class that we're all like-minded people so I think you'll understand <laughs> I think you'll understand where I'm coming from so um last night what I did I, I prepared um my art canvas I bought black canvas and white canvases and I have modeling paste for craft work uh, in my drawers and uh, I thought I'd put some of that I applied it with a palette knife last night let it dry overnight on the canvas and then took it along ready dried uh, for the art class this morning and I'd previously bought um, metallic acrylic paints a set of eight at Home Sense. it's um, an individual store you just happen to able to pick up what they've got whenever they've got it. I buy quite a lot of supplies from the range because the prices there are amazing but on this occasion I got something from HomeSense and uh, over the top I've been able to use a new product to me called Liqu Liquid Chrome and it's like um, a very shiny silver. I'm not quite sure whether the camera will pick it up very well but I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to turn around so ignore all my surfaces covered turn around with me and uh, I'll show this is this is uh, my black canvas I'll just get down on the sh on the floor and show you um, I think you'll agree I've got quite a bit of texture in there the the uh, it looks a bit like plaster of Paris as it goes on but you can see texture right the way across I'm trying to do some horizontal as well as vertical um, palette knife work last night, which is then dried. And I've tried to get a little bit of movement right the way across the piece. Um, the metallic acrylics have dried with a sheen. And then there are areas where I've applied brusho uh, on black canvas. It doesn't show up very well, but you can actually see some of the pink. Brusho is a pigment that's activated with water, so uh, that's actually black that I sprinkled in the sky. I was trying to get a bit of a firework effect, and I've achieved something. I'm not quite sure what I've achieved, but uh, it's something. And then over the top, once that's all dried, I've applied the liquid chrome, which is in a pen form, and I've got some shine it is actually very shiny i'm not sure whether it shows up very well uh on on camera if i can pick it up in the light you can see quite how shiny it is uh, backwards and forwards uh the other thing i was talking about um to somebody with this on black canvas is that swarovski crystals might be something that i would consider adding to a piece if i was going to give it to somebody for their birthday let's say so um, that's what I've been doing this morning. Uh, my art class is only two hours. My art class is only two hours long, so we're very limited what we can achieve in it. But next week, I want to have a go with some alcohol inks. Here's the other piece I showed you earlier. That again is the same with, I did call it liquid gold on my introduction. It's not, it's called liquid chrome. You can see there, that, look, you can see how that liquid chrome really picks up in the light. And that's really worked well with the brusho technique and the metallic acrylics. I was quite pleased with that one for a first attempt, I must admit. I use the same sort of technique and uh, as the 
as the paints were cheap and as the canvases are well, they're reasonable, aren't they? I think I'm quite happy just to explore this at the moment and see what effects I can find. So I'm glad that you come along and join me today. Um, have a cup of coffee. We had uh, coffee and lunch after the art class. We had a little bit of a social uh, chit chat, chit chat, and spoke about various places that we visited around the world. Well, the others did. I just listened a lot. I had a lovely leek and potato soup with uh, warm granary bread, which was absolutely delicious. They um, they do employ staff in the uh, cafe at our local community centre but it is it is assisted by a lot of uh, volunteers so uh, I go there on a Tuesday morning for my art class and um, I'm going to lift up this a little bit Tuesday morning for my art class please bear with me I am just getting used to using the phone and if I'm not looking directly at you it's just because I'm not just not quite sure where to look with the blooming phone <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there it's all a learning curve isn't it anyway um that was tuesday morning for me i'm going to watch a film later on called called hidden figures uh, about 1960s black american women who made a difference in their genres at work really interesting story of how women were treated and how black people were treated in the 60s uh really good design uh, features within it apart from a strong story and a brilliant cast so I'm going to enjoy that this evening I'm going to have a cup of coffee now and uh, I think I'm going to have a little bit of a sleep a little bit of a nap in my chair before uh, before I watch the film later on so um, I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of what uh, I've done on a Tuesday morning and um, I'll see you again soon so from Maggie uh, the Cheshire crafter I'm going to say goodbye have a nice rest of your day. Bye.